Before we start the video, I want to give a big shout out to my KOG members of the month, Ryan McDonough, Nero Diamond, and Blue Cat. You guys are awesome, just saying. If you want your name here, consider hitting that join button for exclusive channel benefits. <coughs> guys rng life here once again bringing you another hero generation deck this one is the real one dude this is a deck using three copies of the structure deck um actually hmm you can probably get away with two copies on this one actually <laughs> like i i was running three copies of favorite hero but it clogs a little bit so i i think the best place you can run the deck is at two uh so that should be good news for you guys you don't really need to buy three of them at least as of my testing i've been testing it for a, a good few hours now and i've been just kind of messing around with it but yeah it looks like the most optimal way to run the deck the only cards you're gonna need by the way are favorite hero and of course mass hero koga uh the rest of them are all pretty obsolete they're not really that great there's the what the hero blast one the trap card it's it's a it's a meme card it's, it's pretty fun but it's not going to be very competitive, probably. And then you have the other one, Generation Next, which I think would be very good in its own generic, like, meme deck. In its own special deck, it would be good. But in this deck, probably not. All right, so let's go ahead and get things started. What I decided to do with this deck is I made a full-on three copies of Keeper Dragon Magic so I can use this to get my Neos out so I can go for the Neos Fusion, summoning this big boy. So yeah, I'm using Neos Fusion in this deck. It's pretty cool. There's a little bit of consistency with Keeper at three. Uh, we're using two copies of Alias because I could use my Mass Change, which I have at three, by the way. I can use that on an Alias so I can uh, get one of these big boys out so I can get Koga. He basically shuts down battle for in general. When he's on the board, he says, you're not going to battle me. I am I can now run you over. I can mess with you a lot. But remember, he does have the target, and he does influence the grave. So if your opponent activates one single Necrovalley on you, you're screwed. Uh, so that's why I'm just like, I thought this guy was amazing. I was having a lot of fun with him. But then after like a bit of testing, I was like, he's cool, but not the best. Like, he's not the best card. The deck can be a lot stronger. Uh, so, yeah, like I was saying, we're using those. I'm using my uh, Destiny Hero Deciders. So I'm using these three Destiny Heroes right here. Two Decider and one Celestial. Just so I can have a few Dark Monsters that I can Normal Summon, Attack, Mass Change into my three copies of Anki. I'm actually really glad I picked up my third copy of Anki with the Dream Ticket. I am using uh, one copy of Necro Valley in this deck. It works best when you're focusing on Anki. If you have Anki on the board and you're able to attack over your opponent, even if you have him equipped with a favorite hero, which is just pretty cool. I mean, that, that makes Anki like a 4,000 beater and he can attack directly for 2,000. It's pretty hype, dude. I have another idea for this deck or another idea for a deck in general, uh, but I'll cover that in some other time. That one's more meme oriented. Right now, I'm just trying to make the most like competitive version that, in, in, that uses both of these guys and whatever. So yeah, we're using this, but I have an idea for another one. <laughs> But yeah, so like I was saying, uh, we're using a few just generic staple cards, cards that are really, really good. Uh, so of course I'm running two copies of Favorite Hero and three copies of Mass Change. Now, if you don't have Mass Change, you might need to, I mean, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't pick up three structure decks just to get a, a Mass Change, but in some situations, picking up that third structure deck might be your more, most cost effective way to pick up Mass Change because there is no way to actually get this card uh without like just just spending a bunch of gems and hoping to get lucky it is an sr and i what is in a main box hold on let's check uh i think that is a main box all right so there you go uh and it's also in a, in a selection box so there you go uh but whatever that's the deck i'm using cards like drowning and mirror wall because i wanted cards that don't target as well like these cards are really really good because they just don't target um so if my attack my opponent attacks they wipe my board somehow which i think will happen especially if you have these big monsters and they just kind of 
beat you up. Uh, that, that will most likely happen, and that's why I think Drowning is a really, really good card to have. Uh, Mirror Wall is really, really good. I, I'm using these just because, like, in case I was fighting, like, Luna Lights, uh, I can't target the 4,000 beater Luna Light monster. So if she's on the board and she's at full power, I'm kind of screwed. Like, I, this guy's not able to power her down. Uh, if he uses effect, he's gonna, like, you're going to power down one of your own monsters on accident, so you just got to know you can't target her. So that is the thing. That's why I just figured, you know what? Drowning. Mirror Wall is a really good thing if you have a monster. Mi uh, drowning is a good if you don't have a monster. Uh, but yeah. I don't know, dude. It's still pretty... It's a pretty interesting meme. Uh, being able to use favorite hero to search Necker Valley, though, is, is hype. I think that's a really, really cool play. And I think I might see people using favorite hero in other decks that uh, focus on field spells. But whatever. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right in once again. And let's see how we do today. All right. First, we got Zane over here. All right. So Zanes are notorious for using their... Uh, what is it? Cyber Dragons. And uh, those are scary. Those are actually really scary. Um, but yeah, let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh, we got we got full on like Oh, and we're going second too. We we can actually make an accurate and uh like an informed decision on which mass change monster to go for. So, let's see what he's got. If he summons something in attack position, we might go Anki and we might win. So, hmm. Dude, I think I can win with Anki right now. I don't know what it, I don't know what his uh, back row is, but maybe we might just be able to Anki it up right now, dude. Uh, because that's the thing, if you guys don't know, Anki is really, really good if you're running it at three. Like, if you have three copies, it's such a good card. It's it's amazing, actually. Uh, he's got Cyberload Fusion, which kind of uh, scares me a little bit, but he didn't set it, so that's good. Uh, that's a nice pickup right there, actually. <laughs> Let me go ahead and snipe your back row real quick, and this will guarantee my victory. For the most part, unless he's got Kite Wave, which I don't know about that one. Uh, let's get that card real quick. Do you want to chain it? Oh, he did chain it. All right, so Pulse Mines is the, is the thing that we have to watch out for. That's fine. Hmm. What I can do is I can summon Decider. And Decider will just kind of chill. Attack position. And he goes to defense. All right. Uh, do I need his effect? Not really. No, not not at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one, maybe two? I don't know if I want two. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go hard. So we're going to set two. I'm going to pass. He basically... Tried to set up his board. He's trying to do all his things so he can OTK. So not bad using Pulse Mines to try to stall. I'm setting both Mass Change because I feel like he's going to blow up my board. And if he does try to blow up my board, then I, I need a response. I need a good way through because he's going to have to take out Decider. Because I think his I think his Cyber Dragon is like level, what, 7? 8? Oh, wow, it's a level 5. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> I never knew how weak that thing was. All right, so we're going to have to... He's going to toggle on. He's targeting one, my back row. Two back rows. You know what? I'm going to lose one of these, but that is fine. Uh, let's chain this real quick. Let's go for our boy. And we'll at least be able to get our big boy out. It sucks that I lost one of my mass changes, but hey, man, I had to commit. I had to because I didn't want to get OTK'd. So, uh, very, very nice. We got one of them. I was hoping he would, he would target my monster and one of the back row. And then I would use the, the one that was targeted to save the monster. But uh, he, he was all out going for the back row. So uh, the thing is, I don't know what he does. I fought him a, f a few times, but I don't know what this Cyber Dragon does. I think he attacks multiple times. I should be safe. But yeah, dude, and that, that actually confirms it right here. So what I'm going to do for this turn is probably go for the Keeper. I'm going Keeper. And Keeper is pretty cool because I discard this guy, giving me more heroes in the grave, which makes Neos extra thick which is awesome. I'm going to go activate that. And I'm going to try to put one of my um, Destiny heroes in the grave so I can get free draws next turn. So get this guy in the grave. We already have one of them in the grave. So next turn, guaranteed draws. Unless I draw like a, a monster and my field is clogged. Eh, well, that would probably suck. But uh, let's go ahead and battle. All right, let's see what we got right now. I am going to attack with the big boy first. I want to deal damage. So there's that one. The thing is... I don't know if this is a guaranteed kill because uh, I gotta check the stat line on uh oh I don't know the stat line on that another dragon dude isn't it like 21 16 he's not that strong right but if he's flipped does he power up all but he powers him up to 21 doesn't he we're gonna have to take a chance I want to get a quick win so we actually did it no way dude we gotta win <laughs> I had to do some quick maths there because I, I had to just confirm that I had lethal but yeah, so I just didn't want him to set one of those bigger Cyber Dragon defense monsters. 
But uh, GG, we did pretty good. As you can see, the deck is really fast and good at just like popping off, summoning big monsters. But you guys haven't even seen the Koga plays yet. Okay, and next up we got Yami Yugi. Uh, I, actually, you guys didn't notice this, but I took a short little break. Um, I went for I went for like half an hour to go fight a coconut that was left in my front yard. I don't I don't have an explanation for it. Someone left a coconut in my front yard, and I just spent like half an hour trying to break it open. Uh, but yeah, so that was that was pretty cool though. Uh, so let's see what we can do with this opening hand. We're going first. Uh, I mean, I like the fact that I drew Cosmic. I have all of my protection for the most part, so I could literally just pass if I really want. I can set up everything and pass, which I think I am most likely going to do. So I'm going to set this, and I think I'm just going to set these two. I don't need to. I don't need to set Mirror Wall. I don't want them to just like randomly blow up my whole back row. That would actually suck. Uh, but let's see what Yugi's got over here with his Yami in play. Um, actually, I, I, maybe he's playing Dark Magician of some kind. I don't know. I know I'm like, I'm plat, like, this is my promotion game to plat 7, I believe, and this guy's like plat 5, so, you know he's not running some, like, cheesy meme deck, he could be running, yeah, he's, he's running some straight Dark Magicians, so, what I'm gonna do right now is immediately strike that card down, because that is the card that causes a lot of problems in my life, so, we're gonna take out that Magical Circle, it is gone now, I don't want him getting a single search, that is the beauty of uh, stopping Circle before he can pop off. Uh, Magician's Rod will now search him a thing. There's a chance that he doesn't have Dark Magician in hand, though. And it'll depend on what he searches. Another circle, dude. Fantastic. Alright, so I literally paid those life points for nothing. Now he's just going to activate a second circle. Or is he? Can you only activate once per turn? Ahaha! You can only activate it once per turn, I believe. So, there we go. That's a nice card. Alright, so... Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Uh, what I could do right now... Here's the thing. He's going to pop off. He's going to summon his Dark Magicians, he's going to have uh, that one card in the grave that's going to lock me out, which I do not like, but eh, it's something. Uh, I like Mirror Wall because it's damage step, and I don't think he can negate that. I'm going to summon my Decider, and do I want to use his effect? I might just use his effect because I don't want to be handsless right now, dude. So I'm going to say yes to him, and I'm good, dude. I'm going to wait. Alright, now, uh, let's go ahead and enter battle. He doesn't have anything he wants to activate. I will straight up try to crash Decider into his monster. And uh, let's set the toggle on real quick. Battle step. He definitely, dude. He has no delays of any kind, so he might not have a Dark Magician, like, in general. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Anki out here. Anki is here. And this is when Anki can, like, really mess my opponent up. So there's some damage. Anki's going to get a possible win right now. So let's go ahead and get all of our mask changes. Uh, so let's see how much we can push. I think... I could push for another 28, which leaves me in danger because Anki's not going to be able to finish it off. So, that's that's interesting, but it's it's not cl not close enough, dude. Not close enough. So, uh, we're good. 
he's gonna now activate his thing so let's go ahead and recover our boy because i need the decider because he's gonna pop off with dark magicians eventually i know he's got circle circle's probably still in his hand because why what kind of mad lad would just set it face down which to be honest that's exactly probably what he did uh so let's see what he's got for us i uh, i think he didn't have dark magician so there's that guy that guy can now add him the exact card he needs uh, I'm just surprised why he hasn't activated Circle yet. So he's gonna get the search he wants with that. I would I would use Circle first, pick up whatever, and then go for Rod, so you can get what you haven't picked up. See, this is gonna prove to me that he just didn't have a Dark Magician. So there you go, dude. He needed a Dark Magician to be able to pop off. Now he can officially uh, summon his Dark Magician, which is cool. Uh, as there's the Circle. I figured as much, I figured as much. Uh, remember, we do have Drowning, and he's activating it this turn, so we can actually pop off with Drowning right now, which is beautiful. So, uh, let's go ahead and get our Anki banished, most likely, because this card, this set card has to be... It's not? It is not? What's his name? Okay, then. I was about to say, if, he, if that's all he's got, then interesting. Um, uh, it's a risky move to activate Favorite Hero on Anki right now. It's super risky. But I'm going to do it. Because it's going to bait out his play. Um, so yeah. We're going to say favorite hero Anki is now untargetable. Then he plays his navigation. So now he's going to have to target Anki. So rip. Anki's gone. That's another thing I was noticing about favorite hero. It's a cool card. But it's not really worth running at 3. Because it is so easily chained to. And they could just shut it down. So right now his uh, circle is going to be able to like shut down pretty much whatever I have. So cool. Um, oh, my equip went through. Nice. Good luck targeting my back row now, my dude. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I didn't know that that would actually work that way. So, very, very nice. He's got the activation of uh, Circle, so Circle can now banish something. This apparently just went through already, so... Uh, yeah, go ahead and hit that favorite hero, dude. <laughs> banish favorite hero, I dare you. Uh, it doesn't matter because I basically have lethal for the most part. So, yeah, man, go ahead. <laughs> Get it out of here, then. All right, so here's when we can uh, start flexing a little bit higher. Uh, I could just attack. I'm pretty sure he has another navigation, so I'm good. Did, did he did he just realize that he lost? He might have realized that he's just like, wait a minute, I think I lost. Oh, no! Uh, I think I want to summon Decider, but at the same time, I don't, because if he summons more Dark Magicians, he banishes my Anki, and whatever, dude. It don't matter. I have a Drowning, but Drowning is going to get negated, so I'm going to summon Decider. All right. Let's go ahead and battle. Let's do this. I, I could attack his Dark Magician or whatever and then get an another search, which wouldn't be a bad play. Uh, I'm actually going to do that right now. Not going to lie. I actually am going to do that. So uh, it's dangerous because I could just end the game right now, but you never know if he's going to have a Kite Roid or something. So this will at least guarantee me that I'll have two Ankies and it'll be much more difficult for him to pop off because look at this mask change, my dude. Uh, so now this guy becomes an Anki as well in attack position, obviously. And uh, direct attack. GG. Yeah, I made it to damage step. He's got nothing. All right. Pretty good, dude. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. All right. And in conclusion, uh, this deck is actually pretty cool. I, I like it, but I don't know. It's still experimental because uh, there's a lot more ways that I could play it. I also consider throwing in some vision heroes and trying out a, a few vision hero plays. But at the same time, I'm just like, I don't know, dude. That's When I run vision heroes, it makes the deck very dark oriented. So it's like I'm going to have to go 100% Anki for the most part. I won't really have that many plays where I get to use my Koga. So that's why I'm just like, I don't know, dude. And they kind of they kind of like don't play well with other types and whatever because I would have to run vision heroes with, with D heroes and, and maybe splash in like two or three light hero monsters. And there's just no synergy. It kinda, it's kind of lame. But whatever. That's the deck as you guys can see. Please let me know if you have any ideas on how to upgrade the deck because like I said, right now I'm, I'm like on pure like uh, I'm having a lot of fun with these heroes dude and i'm just messing around a bunch of stuff that i can splash them into so let me know what you guys think of the deck and how i can potentially upgrade it and that's pretty much that and if you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave a like share and subscribe for more dual link shenanigans but anyway thank you guys for watching today have a great day and see you guys